Hello, today I present to you the construction of a device that records the path of an object in motion and the rendering of the path in Google Earth. The device records navigation data, date, time and speed on an SD card. Entering the navigation data in Google Earth, it reproduces the route taken by the moving object. You can see the speed of a car at a certain time and at a certain point, you can find out the hourly route of a car and much more. Some tests with the device, it detects the lack of the card, if it is defective or not supported by a long beep. Find the list of components and the electrical diagram in the description. I built the device on a test board and it is powered by two 3.7 volt batteries. They ensure an autonomy of over 6-7 hours. I went outside and mounted the device on the dashboard of the car. I turned on the device and waited for it to detect more than three satellites to automatically start recording. The detection of three or more satellites is signaled by the lighting of the blue LED and the start of recording by the flashing of the red LED. I turned back following another route through the center of the town. To stop recording, press the red button twice. I inserted the SD card into the laptop. We find two recorded files, DTS, data, time, speed and GPS with routing coordinates, longitude and latitude. We read some speed values depending on the traffic on the route. In order to be interpreted correctly by Google Earth, the coordinates must be in KML format. For this, we copy the data read in Notepad in a model text format that you can find in the description. Delete all typos if there are any for the most accurate routing. See in the video how we copy the data and insert it into Google Earth.
As soon as we enter the data, Google Earth marks the indicated route in yellow. The code is built in Visuino, you can find the code in Visuino as well as IDE format including the libraries used in the description. Load the code and see the GPS module with the analog outputs of speed, longitude, latitude. These are passed through analog to text converters and included in a formatted text component, text that will be written on the card in the DTS file. Longitude and latitude are passed through analog TO text components with a precision of six decimal places, as provided by the GPS 6M module. The unsigned compare value component automatically starts recording when it receives a number of three or more satellites. This is indicated by the lighting of the blue LED connected to pin D7 of the Arduino board. The output of the time and date module is connected to the formatted text component of the DST tab. The coordinates are connected to the other, formatted text, component and form the GPS file written on the card. The timer, components are used to detect the status of the SD card, long beep or short beep. We choose the type of microcontroller and the correct port and load the code into the Arduino. If you liked my project, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.